The Wing of Estelle is a really cool curved sword that scales well with Dex and Int and is absolutely fantastic for its special ability Nebula as well as its charged attack that shoots projectiles. This armament requires you to have 20 Int, 7 Strength and 17 Dex. It deals decent damage on its own but its special abilities are what make this so fun and so unique and worthwhile. It also only weighs 2.5 so it can fit on literally any build without having to push you into a higher load. You can't use an Ash of War on this weapon because it already has a unique skill baked into it, the Nebula skill. It imbues the wing with magic that sends forth a dark cloud of stars that linger briefly before exploding for some great damage and each explosion within the AoE is its own tick of damage. This makes it great for crowds of enemies in front of you or for big targets where each explosion will damage them. Its heavy attack will also unleash a wave of enchanted light and can either be charged or input twice to do two separate waves. The range is slightly shorter on this but it's a nice thing to have. In order to get this weapon you will first have to have completed Rani's questline up to a specific point where you unlock Noxtella, the Eternal City underground. If you haven't done this before, we have a video on the channel for how you get the Moonlight Greatsword, which you can get after doing this questline, so refer back to that video if you want to find out how you can get to Noxtella, then come back here and you'll be able to get this weapon. From the Noxtella Eternal City Grace Point, make your way southeast and follow where I run past all of the ants and into this little cave. From here you want to run along the cliffside and carefully check where you're going to land to make sure that you don't fall off, follow the cliffside along, be careful of the big monster hanging from the ceiling as it will use a special gravity spell to shoot loads of rocks at you, so make sure to time it correctly where you hide behind a pillar to block it, then run out and pick up the weapon for yourself. And there you have it, you have an absolutely fantastic int weapon to mix up your playstyle. If you do find this helpful, make sure to click a like down below and let us know in the comments if you found any other interesting weapons. And of course, do click the video on screen now and subscribe for more Elden Ring videos because we've got plenty on the channel to help you guys out and we think the one on the screen now will be really helpful for you.